Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Med Edits Minute. Today, I wanted to very quickly review the differences between DO and MD. You can find all of this information and more on our website on our DO versus MD page, which we will link below. So first of all, what is the difference between a DO and an MD? DO stands for Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. MD stands for Doctor of Medicine. Um, the main differences when applying to MD versus DO schools is that allopathic or MD schools are more competitive than osteopathic or DO schools. The average MCAT most recently for students who matriculated to MD schools was 511.5 versus an MCAT of 503.8 for osteopathic medical students. The average GPA for allopathic medical students was 3.73 versus 3.54. So as you can see, there are real differences with regards to competitiveness when it comes to allopathic versus osteopathic medical schools. Next, I would like to discuss what are the major differences with regards to your medical education as a DO versus an MD. The overall philosophy behind osteopathic training is different than the allopathic training in that the osteopathic focus is about a more holistic approach to patient care. Osteopathic medical students also are required to take 200 hours of osteopathic manipulative treatment education or OMT during medical school. The main differences then have to do with certification. So the COMLEX is the standardized test taken by all osteopathic medical students, and the USMLE is the standardized test taken by allopathic medical students. Now, if osteopathic medical students want to be applying to traditionally allopathic residencies, they need to take the USMLE in addition to the COMLEX exam. So that is something to think about. Next, I would like to discuss the residency training for osteopathic versus allopathic medical school graduates. Now, if you end up going to an osteopathic medical school, it is important to understand that the most competitive specialties and residency programs may not be accessible to you. And that is represented here where you can see that a very small percentage of osteopathic students end up matching in competitive specialties like otolaryngology, orthopedic surgery, dermatology, neurosurgery, and radiation oncology. The vast majority of osteopathic medical school graduates pursue the specialties of internal medicine, family medicine, and emergency medicine. So if you are really interested in pursuing a very competitive specialty, it's important that you realize this might not be an option for you if you go to an osteopathic medical school. Now, when it comes to medical practice and career, Overall, the average salaries for osteopathic physicians is lower than it is for allopathic physicians, but that is because the majority of osteopathic physicians pursue primary care specialties, as I've mentioned previously. Ultimately, the way that MD and DO educated physicians practice is actually not that different in the real world. And in, our, in my experience, the most osteopathic physicians do not practice OMT and do not make that a part of their practice. So in the real world, there really is little difference in practice styles between MD and DO. Again, there's a lot more information on our website about this, but I just wanted to give you sort of the really important nuggets of the differences between DO and MD. Thank you for listening and good luck.